I went and watched Rachel Oates's uh, attack on me. Uh, what is it, 20 minutes, 25 minutes long? She spent the whole thing debunking, she thinks, my book. Are you being brainwashed by your science book? So Rachel said, went through the whole book and said, there are not six meanings to the word evolution. Rachel, oh, uh, there are six levels or meanings to the word evolution. Now, Rachel, if you would like to have me on and do a debate, I'll be glad, I'll be glad to defend everything I said. But give me a chance to defend myself. Rachel, you can come on my channel. You have, let's see, 21,000 views on this. Okay, I forget how many subscribers you had, 100,000 or something. I got about 135 or something. Come on, you can come on my channel. We'll broadcast it on both channels. Let's have a debate, Rachel. Is evolution true? What does the word evolution mean? And where's the scientific evidence for it? You guys are constantly running and hiding behind little micro-evolution examples. And then claiming that this is somehow proof that whales came from a, a, an amoeba. I'm sorry, this is not science, and I'm clearly exposing it sweetly in Christian love. And yes, if you believe in evolution, you must have got brainwashed by your science textbook. That is a very good book, by the way. You know the author? Yes. Okay. Um, <laughs> there, okay. It's short and... Short, sweet, to the point. Let's see. It is uh, 50, 48 pages, and it's seven bucks. If you get them in quantity, do we have a quantity discount to give to every kid in your school? Yeah. We're trying to win a war, not build a castle. Okay, if you want to call us, make an offer, our printing cost or whatever it is, get these. Uh, we have bulk prices. Bulk prices, yeah, okay. The kid, the geologic column does not exist, kids. You're being brainwashed. Similarity does not prove common ancestry, proves a common designer. The embryo, embryology evidence for evolution is a lie. It is a lie proven wrong in 1874. <laughs> get up to date, okay? It's not true. I know it takes a while to get textbooks up to date, but 1874 <laughs> ought to be long enough to get it out of the textbook. It's still in there. There they are right there. The tailbone is not vestigial, Rachel. The books are teaching the kids you don't need your tailbone. It's vestigial. If you think the tailbone is vestigial, I will pay to have yours removed. <laughs> Better yet, if any of you folks, any of you atheists, Rarin, do you think the tailbone is vestigial? I don't have my Swiss Army knife. Oh, it's up in the bedroom. I'll go get it. I'll even clean it and do the surgery. I'll remove the tailbone. It's not vestigial. They are teaching the kids it is, though, and that's proof for evolution. Here, the whale has a vestigial pelvis. No, it doesn't. Those little bones, we got one in the museum here somewhere, those bones are part of the whale's reproductive system. They have to make babies underwater in the dark with no arms and they can't talk and say, scoot over, honey. They have to have special muscles and bones to maneuver things around. Do some study. That's not a vestigial pelvis and a whale. It's part of the reproductive system. Ask your mama to explain it. Okay. The snake does not have vestigial hind legs. Those claws and bones are part of the snake's mating system. Okay. I go through all the stuff. And yes, here's the family tree. Look at this. All the creatures came from an amoeba. Whoa, who'd have thunk it? You guys do believe you came from an amoeba. The horse did not evolve from a four-toed ancestor. I just go through some of the lies in the textbooks. The title of the book is, Are You Being Brainwashed by Your Science Book? And yes, if you believe in evolution, you are being brainwashed by your science book. And we're here to help. Tell your friends about our channel, and if you got any atheist friends that you'd like us to make fun of, send us what they believe. We'll be glad to do that. Is there more, Steve? All right, thank you. Bye. <laughs>